Hey guys, this is Sandeep from Rev Atlas and today I have something very exciting for you and this is our first ever monitor review and boy is it a good one. Now before we get started, please do make sure to hit the like button and also get subscribed so you don't miss out on more exciting content coming to you shortly. Also make sure to leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below of what you think about the review and what you'd like us to include in our monitor reviews in the future. Now let's get this started. Aopen isn't a very well-known brand. Little do people know that it's a sub-brand of Acer that has existed since 1996 as a component manufacturer. They recently entered the Indian market with their PC peripheral lineup and we decided to give their monitors a shot starting with a 27-inch Aopen 27HC2R curved VA Full HD 165Hz HDR400 gaming monitor. That's quite a mouthful. The monitor has decent build quality for an entry-level gaming monitor and the feet are made out of metal but the rest of the body and stand are made out of plastic which is what you would expect at this price point. The stand is pretty sturdy and offers tilt, swivel and height adjust functionality and the stand offers minus 5 to plus 20 degree tilt and 30 degree swivel as well as 110 mm height adjustability. The stand connects the monitor with 4 screws on a 100x100 Visa mounting hole available at the back of the monitor. The monitor has some gamery aesthetics with red streaks running along the back of the monitor and on the stand, and the monitor otherwise has a pretty standard design with a small bezel on three sides and a generous 1500R curve. If you like the curve design or not, it depends on your specific taste, but it shouldn't be one of the reasons that you should want to buy the monitor in our opinion. The monitor also comes with a headphone holder on the rear of the stand and that's a nice touch and should help keep your desk tidy. The monitor comes with an on-screen display menu that's accessible with a directional toggle nipple and not multiple buttons which can be really efficient when navigating through the menu that offers a plethora of options that are gamer and content creator oriented. It offers multiple display modes that are calibrated according to different color spaces like sRGB, DCI-P3, Rec 2020 and more. The monitor also comes with three different overdrive modes and we recommend keeping it on the fast setting and not the fastest because it introduces a lot of inverse ghosting. The fast mode on the other hand is just fine with manual inverse ghosting and motion blur and there's also an option to add on display crosshair if you enjoy cheating in games. There are two 3W speakers on board which are completely unusable and some phones get louder than these with clearer and fuller sound. Aopen could have done without these and invested the money elsewhere like having a USB hub pass through or USB-C display port. Speaking of ports, the monitor comes with two HDMI ports, one limited to version 1.4 which only offers 120Hz of maximum refresh rate capability, the other is HDMI 2.0 which is required to achieve full 165Hz refresh rate and supports FreeSync and enables G-Sync compatibility. We recommend connecting to a display port for best performance, there's also a 3.5mm jack for audio pass-through in case you're wondering. Coming to the display itself, the panel promises close to 400 nits of peak brightness and trust us when we say it gets satisfactorily bright for HDR content. HDR performance on the other hand is not something worth talking about as the display lacks full local array dimming or gets bright enough for proper HDR consumption but it would be unfair to expect high end HDR performance at this price. The VA panel has decent viewing angles, no noticeable color shift at typical viewing distance with upfront viewing. The display uses an 8-bit panel with 95% sRGB color gamut coverage and there is a dedicated sRGB mode in the on-screen display menu as well. It was able to reproduce nice and accurate colors for video and photo editing work. We weren't able to measure the accuracy of the DCI-P3 mode although it did make the image look a bit more saturated to our eyes. There are also three gaming presets for FPS and RPG gaming and we couldn't find any indifferentiable benefits to using the modes. We presumed that they would help bring the visible ghosting down but they hardly made a difference. Speaking of ghosting, there is some. It's not annoying but something you definitely notice when panning around in games, especially in fast-paced games. If you are typically sensitive to ghosting, it would be better to go for an IPS or TN panel based high refresh rate monitor. Ghosting is generally inherent to VA panels. Gaming on the monitor is quite enjoyable due to its sheer size, fewer pixels, faster response times and we used our setup with the NVIDIA RTX 2080 Ti to play a few games on the monitor such as CSGO which is a fairly high paced game and we could achieve over 300 FPS at 1080p with the 2080 Ti which is ideal for testing high refresh monitors. Apart from some visible ghosting, there was no visible artifacting or transition delays. The high contrast from the VA panel makes the darker maps especially enjoyable. We also tested Shadow of Tomb Raider to test the HDR performance and it isn't something to write about. What you would like to know is that the colors really popped and dark scenes where the scene is only lit with a distant flame look quite good for a monitor at this price. Acer reps told us that the monitor should be available at a price of around Rs 18,000 and for that price this is a fairly good offering from Aopen. 
You should go for it if you prefer high contrast displays with nice black levels and vibrant color reproduction at the cost of little ghosting and average viewing angles and not HDR or top of the line gaming performance. That's it for the video guys, thanks for watching, see you again in the next one and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.